Have you ever wanted to play some Minecraft with your friends without having to buy some big ass server? Well, I got you covered. Today, I'll show you how you host a Hamachi server so you can basically play multiplayer on your single player Minecraft world and if you are the friend joining your other friend's server, I'll show you how to do that. So yeah, for now, just do what I do, which is basically installing and running Hamachi. I'll get to the entire server client part, like who hosts the server and all that. I'll get to all of that at the end of the video. For now, just do what I do. I've already shown how to do this to like 10 different people. So yeah, that's why I'm actually doing this video. So I don't have to explain everything again. <laughs> so I can just like send this video and it'll be over. <laughs> Alright, at the top of the description there should be a download link to Hamachi. The one we'll be using. Once the download's finished, open the installer. Now it's pretty straightforward. Just gotta play continue a couple of times. One time you gotta agree to the license and terms, which you can read on the button on the left. And yeah, the last step, make sure to not accidentally install LastPass. Just make sure you didn't actually check the button for it. You don't need it. At some point the installation will be finished and the match should open. Or maybe it's in your taskbar. I don't know, I don't judge. Anyway, now, it should look kinda like this once it opens. There should be like that power button on the top left. Uh, the first time you click it, you'll be prompted to make an Hamachi account. And yeah, you basically have to put in an email, a password, or whatever. And yeah, you gotta do that and log in to your new Hamachi account. This is needed. Also, don't forget the password. Just write it down somewhere. Use key pass, whatever. Don't forget your passwords. <laughs> After you made your account and logged in, if the power button is still grey, click on it again to make it yellow. Which will basically activate Hamachi. Now you'll need a network. If you don't have one already, I recommend the person that hosts the server makes one. At the top, click Network and then click Create Network. In it, you'll basically have to type in a network ID, which is its name, and a password. And the password again. Make sure you don't forget this. Write down your damn passwords. Anyway, there can only be 5 people at the same time in one network. So, if somebody won't play anymore, kick them off the network to make some space. If you play with more than 5 people, you might have to trick around a little bit, but yeah, I've never done that before. Or you just buy the licensed version. But at that point, you might as well just buy an entire server. You can also create multiple networks. There's a bunch of stuff you can do, but yeah. Anyway, if there already is a network, I'll show you how you join an existing network. It should be pretty self-explanatory. Go to network, then go to join network, and there you gotta put in the network ID and the password. Obviously, your friend has to tell you this. Now the person that hosts the server should probably have a good internet connection and a decent PC so they can handle everything. And it should probably be online quite a bit so like when everybody wants to play, like they will basically have to manually start the server with the entire Hamachi thing. This is not a 24 7 server thing, no. You are the server, you need to have Minecraft running so that other players can join your game. And um, yeah, <laughs> if you are the server, do what I'm doing, follow my steps. If you are the client, skip forward. Now, if you are the person hosting the server, just make a new Minecraft single player world. Then, once it's done, go into the menu and go to Open to LAN. Now, once you start your LAN world, you will get a port number. You gotta write that run and your match IP to your friends. I'll show you how in just a minute. Oh yeah, and one more thing. You can't pause the game anymore. Uh, which will be pretty obvious because you're pretty much now hosting a multiplayer game. Oh yeah, and one more thing. The port number will change every time you open up your game to like multiplayer. So yeah, the port number is always changing. So you always gotta tell your friends the new port. Now go back to Amachi. Right click the part next to your off button which will be your IP address. Then click copy IP4 address. And then put that into like Discord or, or whatever, like wherever you're, you're writing your friends. Now at the end of it. Put in the port that you got in Minecraft. Now you're pretty much done. All you gotta do is wait for your friend to join. You can send them this video and like tell them just watch the client parts and yeah. In the, in the next part of the video I'll actually show your friend how to join. And yeah, at the end of the video I'll also show you um, how you fix a little issue regarding firewalls. Well, well I won't show you, I'll just give you a, a video link. and. Um, Oh yeah, and I'll show you how to back up saves, like how to send saves to your friend in case the host changes, like in case your friend uh, hosts and you don't host anymore. But yeah, you're basically done for now. Okay, now if you want to join your friend's world, go to multiplayer, then go to direct connect, then put in the server address that they will give you, and then just click join server, 
And yeah, then it should basically be done. If it doesn't work, it's probably because your firewall is making some, like, it's preventing the connection. Or maybe you made a mistake, but probably not. So yeah, just make sure you did everything correctly, how much is enabled, you got the right version, all that stuff, and if it still doesn't work, either somebody else has to be the new host, you don't need a new network for that, or you gotta do the firewall fix in the description. If the server host changes, but you wanna keep your old world, the old host has to send the world to the new host, and I'll show you how. Open up app data on your PC, and then go to .minecraft, and then search for a folder called saves. Now in that saves folder, there'll be all your Minecraft worlds, and yeah, you just gotta copy the file, or well, well, the folder, and send it to your friend, and that friend's gotta put that world into their saves folder, and then you're basically done. If you use CurseForge, right-click your profile and go to open folder. That's your profile's Minecraft folder. So it took me way longer than expected, and I hope I could do a kind of like noob for noob explanation on how to do this. And uh, yeah, have fun.